The EGFR um, means the estimated glomerular filtration rate. And glomerular filtration rate really means kidney function. So we're talking about an estimate of kidney function on a blood test. And the estimate of kidney function is based on the creatinine level in the blood. And you can see one of my previous recordings about creatinine. Uh, creatinine is a waste product made or made from the muscle metabolism. Uh, and it's made all the time. And the level in the blood is measured. That's put into a calculator to measure the um, estimated GFR together with some other variables, which will include the, your age, your uh, gender, and some other uh, variables, depending on which particular ca calculator is used. So if you have a report that shows that your EGFR is low, then the, um, the suspicion is you may have a kidney problem because the, the real glomerular filtration rate has been reduced. It's not always the case, and there are other causes for a raised creatinine and therefore low EGFR, which don't actually mean the kidneys aren't working as well and may reflect things like increased muscle bulk or increased muscle turnover. If the EGFR is very low, that implies the kidney function is very low, and that's obviously serious. If, the, uh, if an EGFR is more than 60 uh, and is not changing, and you have no other signs or suggestions that there may be a kidney problem, this could be normal, but you need to take advice on that. So the, a reduced EGFR can be due to reduced kidney function, as I've mentioned, or a raised serum creatinine for another reason, for example, increased muscle turnover. The commonest causes of reduced kidney function uh, in the UK are things like hypertension and diabetes and other things that can cause vascular disease. Other conditions, uh, for example, um, uh, polycystic kidney disease, so structural problems with the kidneys can, can cause a reduced kidney function, or inflammatory conditions um, such as uh, lupus or other autoimmune problems. To make the diagnosis of that reduced kidney function, is it, it's, you, you'd need to see a specialist uh, and they can take a history, an examination, and perform some extra tests to try and work, it, work out why the kidney function is reduced. For some people, if the, if the EGFR is only mildly reduced, then it can be often be a reassuring process to see a nephrologist to uh, go through lifestyle, medication and other things to be confident that the kidney function is as good as it can be. If the EGFR is low that, that, and it is truly reflective of an impaired kidney problem, this can be serious. Uh, the most important thing is how quickly things are changing. If things are changing quickly, then it's very important to make an early diagnosis because there's likely to be a reversible cause. If things are changing very slowly, then it's important to make a diagnosis and to make the correct interventions to maximize the lifespan of the kidneys. But generally speaking, the slower things are changing, the less likely we would be able to make things better, but we would certainly hope to be able to stabilize things for as long as possible. And that would be the reason to see a nephrologist. Though EGFR is detected on uh, usually a routine blood test, often done for another reason. Maybe a patient has some non-specific symptoms. The uh, GP or another doctor does a blood test to just to, as a screening test. The creatinine is found to be raised and therefore the calculated, the estimated uh, GFR is found to be low and a referral is made at that point. Obviously more um, detailed investigations can take place to work out whether the high creatinine truly re represents decreased kidney function uh, and you should see the nephrologist to discuss what these might be. Once a, a low uh, EGFR has been found then obviously it depends on the magnitude of the, uh, of the decrease um, so we categorize chronic kidney disease according to how low the EGFR is. If it's more than 60 and not changing, as I said previously, this is not of an immediate concern and can be dealt with uh, in due course. If the EGFR is less than 60 and falling, then this is more important to be detected uh, early and a referral made. As I've mentioned before, 
if this is truly felt to be uh, a reduced kidney function on the basis of the history examination and routine blood tests, then the sequential investigations would include blood tests, urine tests, an ultrasound scan, potentially some other imaging as well, depending on what the problem is. And then depending on what the results of all of those things are, a kidney biopsy might be needed, which is the placement of a need within the kidney, may be needed to make a tissue diagnosis of the uh, reduced kidney function. Most cases do not need this, but if in the case of rapid changing, a rapidly falling kidney function, then this might be required. But of course, this is to, something to discuss with your nephrologist.